So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use SQL to do a few challenging tasks, including join, group by, and subqueries. So first of all, I'm going to create a new database um, as an example using SQL statements. In the stu management studio, I click on databases and right click new database. I'll give you a name campground2. This campground2 is an empty database as in doesn't have any tables yet. So with this campground2 highlighted, I can either create click on the new query or right click and select new query. Now I already have a series of SQL statement already written. I'm going to explain a little bit before executing it. So in here, I'm going to create three tables, camper, reservation, and spot. For each table, I create the table structure first, defining the field's name, data type, whether it's null or not. I will create the primary key and foreign key later. So after I create the table structure, I will populate the data into the table. For example, here I have five campers information. And similar for a reservation, I will make the risk number as the primary key and then I'll populate five reservation information. Last one is the spot table. Spot number will be my primary key and I will have four spots. So after that, I would add uh, primary key by using the alter table, add primary key of camper number to camper, reserve number to reservation, and spot number to spot table. Last, I will create a foreign key. So reservation table is an associative entity that sits between camper and spots. So first is the camper number as a ref as a foreign key in the reservation table that references the camper number in camper table. The second one is the spot number as the foreign key in reservation table referencing the spot number in the spot table. And once I execute and if I don't see any red marks in the messages, then that means good news. I have five records inserted for the camper table, five for reservation, four for spots. Now that I have my tables ready, let's use SQL to do some joins. So my first join is going to select all campers and their reservation and the spots that they reserved. So when I execute, you can see that I have all the campers that made, who made reservations, their reservation information and the spots information. Notice that camper 1003 and 1004 didn't show because they did not make, make any reservations. So in this SQL statement, I first select everything from all three tables separate by comma in between them, following by where condition where I specify two relationships, um, matching the foreign key camper number in reservation with the camper number in as a primary key in camper, and the spot number as the foreign key in reservation matching the spot number as primary key in spot. Notice that I have three tables, therefore I have two relationships or two conditions. If I use this method to join n tables, then I would need to specify n minus one number of conditions. Another way of querying it is using the inner join. And using the inner join, I will have the same results, the same results in here. So the syntax is a little bit different. I still select everything from, and then I use parentheses first in the join, I join camper with reservation on the condition of the camper number in reservation matching the camper number in camper. And then this whole thing as a object in the join, the third table spot on the condition that the spot number in 
reservation matching the spot number in spot. So this is the inner join. It has the same results with the previous method that I show. I personally prefer the first method because uh, I don't have to worry about the parentheses. So next, what if I want to select all the campers and their reservations, even including those campers who did not make any reservations? Now we're using an outer join or in SQL Server, we call this a left join, right? So it's very similar to the inner join syntax. Instead of inner, we replace it with the word left here as well. But notice that in the results, we're seeing the camper number 1003 and 1004, even though they did not make any reservation. Right? So this is the left join, which joining the first table before the left join and including everything in that table, regardless there's a match or not. So next I like to show uh, the group by. So group by is used to organize records together and you can add the condition by using the keyword having. So in this case, if I want to select camper who have made reservation, so I am going to add more than one reservation as a condition later. First of all, I use count reserve number. Now this field can be any field in the reservation but I need to count how many records is there and display in the results. And also I like to see the camper number that matching uh, those reservations. From, so I will need campers information and ref reservation information. So I'm joining these two tables. Then I need to specify the join condition where camper number in the reservation table matching camper number in the camper table we use group by and so group by the camper number for each camper each camper may make more than one reservations so for each camper we put that camper as the group by so this outputs all the camper who had made a reservation and in the first column says no column name it's actually the number of the reservation they have made. So 1001 and 1002, those two campers each made one reservation. And 1002 likes camping and so far he made three reservations. If we would like to use an out, uh, nicer column name and we can use the S, the alias name, such as the number of reservation. And then it will show on the column as a new column name in the results nicely. So this is what we call a column alias. Now if we want to limit as only one reservation, I'm going to use the keyword for having. So having is kind of to group by as where condition to select, right? So if you want to specify condition in pair with goodbye you use having so having now we want to having this count greater than one so not including one but greater than one and now only camper 1002 shows and he had made three reservations right the other two campers they only made one so they don't show in the results anymore so that's goodbye and having so the next example I want to uh, give is to help us finding the campers who did not make any reservations using a subquery. So this outputs the campers names so I can add camper number as well so that since we're familiar with the camper number from previous examples, right? So 001001 and 1004, those two campers did not make any reservations. And this reservation information with the camper's name, we need that from um, both camper table and reservation table. So we actually kind of joining two tables, but we're using subqueries in here. So we select the information we would like to display 
from the camper uh, table. So this information, all these three fields are from the camper table. Where condition is where the camper number not in. So it's not found, those campers not found from the reservation uh, table. So this information, this field must match the select field in there because you're selecting uh, all the camper number from the reservation, right? And it's a collection of the camper number that who made reservations. And if the camper number not in it, that means this camper did not make any reservation. Now, another example, if we want to uh, select instead the camper who made reservation, who made reservation, so that's like opposite way. Let's use exists. Right in the subquery, so we also select the camper number, camper first name, last name, and from the camper table where exists. So we're looking for a if there's a record existing that matching the joining condition between camper and reservation. So this use of subquery is a little bit different. It matches with the outer query. So the inner query, every time it runs, it actually matching with the outer query because that's where they get the camper information from. And on this condition, if a record shows, then it will return in this collection and if it exists, then it will output the camper. That means the camper has a reservation existing. So therefore we see the results, camper 100 and 1001, 1002, those three campers made reservations. So this is two types of subquery example. And so that's it.